Howdy, 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 my beautiful Pisces. How are you doing today? Let's get into your weekly tarot reading Pisces for September 2022 and see what's going to be happening for you. Let's see what your horoscope is. On the top right hand corner of your screen, uh, Pisces, I'll leave a link to my monthly pick a card tarot reading for September. Be sure to check out your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus sign Pisces to get the full spectrum of what's going on in your life if you are going to consume tarot readings for uh, your guidance today. All right, your spiritual guidance, Pisces. So let's get, a star let's get started with your tarot reading here today starting out with the queen of wands for you pisces Ooh, all right i like this for you pisces all right something's motivating you all right you're leaving the nest i feel like if you have recently either started or if you've been really anticipating all right uh pisces in regards to going forward with some type of personal endeavor right a personal project all right it's something that you personally feel passionate about so if you feel passionate about traveling and you've been starting to look up on different websites about the place that you want to travel to spirit is letting letting you know it's like really lean into it if it's if your passion is like youtube lean into it further here all right spirit is really trying to like push you out of the nest with this because i'm being shown like the small bird and the big bird pushing the small bird out the nest so that they can fly here all right and i get for you here pisces by the way i'm just going to be pulling from the back of the deck here i get for you pisces with the seven of cups how this plays off with the queen of wands is where it's like i feel like you're starting to do multiple things dipping your toes in multiple things the message that i hear as well pisces all right with the ace of wands as well is just like continue on with the passion some things might be a little bit slower to start up start up than others or to start seeing results so for example pisces you might have started um a youtube channel and then also started walking every single day for 30 minutes and then as well you were you know whatever the, the list can go on the possibilities are endless pisces but it's that sense of where it's like all these things that you're doing very very fabulous pisces but you know some things might just take a little bit longer to develop than others so don't be a little bit too analytical about certain situations um and be dismissive of the be di as dismissive of them quite yet give it a little bit more time to marinate is what i get with that there because yeah knight of pentacles coming in here now the thing about it is uh pisces i feel like for you this has been your story for a little bit right you might have been feeling like you've been coasting in life for a little bit um maybe you've been a little bit lenient on yourself when it comes to uh pushing your productivity right but i always say like productivity is not everything right we live in a society nowadays where we feel like everything we have to do do has to be immediately gaining traction gaining results making money and that's just not the case but the thing about it is here pisces i do see you guys well yes we acknowledge all this right it's not everything i do see you guys at the sign of pentacles finally starting to just like buckle down and getting things done and that's what's starting this queen of wands storyline for you and why you have been dipping your hands in many, like you're going to be starting many things at once many projects of different types at once because it's like and perhaps you've been in like the research phase or you know whatever whatever your reasonings are pisces we don't even it doesn't need to be any like it doesn't need to be a good reason or what makes a good reason or a bad reason right maybe you've just been tired right it doesn't have to be anything you've just been tired and you haven't been wanting to take action right ultimately what spirit is just letting you know pisces just like hey you know by you taking action by you finally deciding to buckle down and following in this passion here right ace of wands with the queen of wands like this is literally the epi uh, the epitome pisces of just allowing passion to guide you and things are going to be working themselves out for you in big time here so i see you guys leaving the nest here soon and if that if you don't see yourself leaving that nest for a couple more weeks you know that's fine pisces but i do want you to start developing a plan all right you took up camp somewhere and it's like it's fine that you took up camp to recuperate to breathe or what have you but let's have a let's have an exit plan let's have a specific concrete date pisces of when you're going to pick back up and get things going again all right because really i'm not here to tell you how you should live your life or how you should manage your time pisces because trust and belief i had someone trying to tell me pisces be like you need even more me you need to be more busy libra all right because <laughs> i'm a libra and then i would just be like girl f you all right but i do see pisces all right if this motivates you any or if this maybe just inspires some of you guys to keep on just going because there is this message again where it's just like give give something a little bit more time to marinate and you'll start seeing the results that you 
are really searching for currently to motivate you don't look for specific results right now pisces to really like ignite your flame be the one to continuously ignite and stoke that fire because eventually you'll have things that will stoke that fire you'll have the results that you want that really it motivates you to continue to do more but right now i just get this sense of like needing to invest into doing things deeper pisces i'm not going to be a tarot reader that's just like oh yeah i see abundance what have you and like to by next week by tomorrow right it's like no i think you guys need to put in a little bit more elbow grease with this not saying that you haven't done enough quite yet but it's like I can tell you by the destination, I can tell you the destination, what that's going to look like, should you be willing to put in a little bit more elbow grease, all right? High Priestess energy coming in here. I'm noticing the sense of studiousness. When I see this High Priestess, studiousness, um, definitely, ooh, studiousness with something that you are feeling like it's out of your league. So let me say this, Pisces. I kind of see this energy and I see this as someone where it's just like, you know, replace the details with whatever it's fitting for your life. But it's like someone has always said to themselves being like, oh, I want to be a pop star. I want to be a YouTube star. And they start doing like videos, right? Or they start posting their music on Spotify. And because they don't get the initial results that they're hoping for, it's like your response to this is like by is internalizing it and be like, oh, like I need to work on myself. I got to do better. Like the reason why I'm not getting the views that I think I deserve or the streams that I deserve is because some i'm doing something wrong right and the reality is pisces is it's not that you're doing anything wrong necessarily it's like you have to just allow things to marinate more all right what it is that you want to have in this lifetime here with the star aquarian energy right you can definitely have it that star that wish that you have been having for yourself for such a long time is easily accessible you have to calm your emotions a little bit with that cups with the uh, water that's represented with the stars you have to calm your emotions you can't internalize everything and sometimes just accept the fact that you need to just allow something to marinate the answer to everything is not always just because you see initial data about something pisces doesn't mean you need to and i know my data nerds will really find a way to argue with it with me about it but i it's like i feel like in certain situations that you can't just overanalyze the data and like call it quits just yet i feel like you need to like how, that's how you get better results with your data is by giving it more time giving it more attempts does that make sense pisces all right so giving allowing something to develop more you will be gr very happy with the result of it after i just had a bunch of cards fall out so one of the cards that fell out was the two of cups here all right so what is this two of cups about what type of relationship are we talking about all right i don't want to just say oh i see love coming in because of the two of cups like what type of connection is coming forward here that spirit seems to okay that's why i was already immediately skeptical about it because the three of swords and the three of swords came inverted a lot of cards come in inverted by the way pisces i just don't feel like y'all need to hear about which cards are inverted or not and you don't need to see it upside down <laughs> you know to understand the message right so i will i'm not gonna give this much energy pisces and i don't feel like you should either all right but i do get the sense of like with the two of cups and three of swords in the reverse it's like someone's trying to come back in with some type of apology it's like that very much so that cliche pisces where it's just like oh like trying to like figure things out i also get this message where it's like you're gonna try to pretend as if nothing even happened and i feel like they're gonna be coming in while you're in the midst of like leaving your nest like i feel like this person comes in later on while you're already like knee deep doing a bunch of different projects and things like you have someone from your past coming back in and be like oh hey pisces remember me da, 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 da. i feel like you need to respond to this energy and this is my own personal projection just from this energy i'm not even going to pull cards or pretend as if like i'm not personally projecting onto this but i do feel like you just shouldn't give this energy all right i feel like you need to just continue down the path your path here because i feel like this connection here you had your reasons for why you walked away from it from the first place by you entertaining it i feel like that'll take away your light and take away the momentum that you have started for yourself later down the road all right Right? that's what i intuitively feel but as i say darling who the hell am i to be telling you how you should live your life or how you should handle your connections because you know them better but i will that's just what i see with that initially all right so um take that as you will darling take that as you will let's continue on for you here pisces i feel drawn to do the oracle cards here soon but i want to do maybe like th three to five more tarot cards 
because I feel like we still got to flush something out a little bit more here. Seven of Wands coming in here, Two of Swords with the Death card. The Death card kept on following you through when I was shuffling. It kept on calling out to me. Like I noticed it while I was shuffling. And so you have the Seven of Wands, Two of Swords with the Death coming in here. All right, Pisces, here's the thing here. The reason why this old energy is going to be trying to make itself come back and be relevant in your life again with this Three of Cups, Two of Cups energy, or Three of Swords, Two of Cups energy that I talked about previously. The reason why it's going to be coming back in very specifically when you're already like in the middle of your journey of doing this new thing whatever that we were talking about prior right pisces it's like this old energy tries to if i can hold them all so you can see it properly it's like this energy comes in and it's just like oh hey pisces do you remember me let's work on things again and the reason why you want to move on from it is because it's almost like a test from your spiritual team whatever that spiritual team looks like for you pisces and they're just like all right we're gonna toss this we're gonna toss pisces a um you know it's kind of like the adam and eve right uh offering the apple tempting them with the apple there right and you want to see that situation as like an apple all right where it's just like you know what i'm not gonna take a bite of that apple you know and from i feel like for you by finally making that choice of putting up that boundary and being like you know what let's just call the past in the past for a reason darling i don't want like i don't want to engage with it we don't need to talk about it i've moved on let's have let's both just move on and accept the fact that we lived like we shared a life together for uh, x amount of time but let's move on to something bigger and better here right nine of cups energy all right they were definitely like a stepping stone for you all right and, you know, you know, people would make the references of just like certain relationships are there for a season and there for a lifetime, what have you. There's just certain relationships, certain situations that you work deal with for a period of time. And while, yes, that time period was fabulous, but trying to make trying to replicate that or trying to continue on in that fabulous fashion is just it ruins it. Right. And so you have to accept that that at that point in time, that stepping stone, if it fit for you, but you continue going forward, you don't look back at a stepping so and be like oh i want to bring that with me it's like no it doesn't work like that all right so see things from that way let's do two more cards for you pisces <clears throat> the eight of cups yeah the eight of cups that's your challenge here pisces your challenge is by once you finally walk away from temptation when you walk away from that apple that i was telling you about with that temptation that spirit is going to be testing you with right and it's like i'm giving you the cheat sheet letting you know that you're about to be tested you're about to be having that pop quiz right it's the pop quiz doesn't feel like a pop quiz no more when you know the quiz is about to be popping right and so that's how you get the wheel of fortune to start turning in your favor again here pisces all right because the wheel of fortune doesn't always is just promise fortune it can be turning one way or the other way for you and by you finally deciding that something was is not good enough for you anymore and finally being able to just fully emotionally detach yourself and reminding yourself why it is you started this queen of wands journey ace of wands seven of cups journey in the first place that's when you are finally able to fully step into this new version of your life without having anything from that past that's why we have that death card with the two of swords here where it's like you can't you can't have your cake and eat it too you can't bring something along with you from one side and take it on the other side you have to make a choice and putting an end to something right pisces so that's how i see your story is right now let's get into your oracle cards for this week here but overall i really love this energy for you pisces i'm really optimistic for the majority of you here because i really don't feel like y'all will have any interest in entertaining that situation from the past that will try to come in because i feel like y'all most of you pisces will just be so busy with the queen of wands journey that you are on because again i do feel like they come in in the middle of your um middle of your journey you have the first quarter moon in cancer pushing through any insecurity all right pushing through any insecurity that's why you need to allow things to marinate a little bit more maybe because you haven't seen the results that you would like to see on certain projects pisces you start becoming insecure about it but you need to work through that insecurity darling all right even if you're getting five views on your videos on youtube those are five people that are listening to you when some people upload a bunch of videos and they get zero all right put things in perspective all right uh you have the full moon in libra pisces finding balance finding balance with the last quarter moon in gemini clearing your mind finally finding balance and clearing your mind here pisces that's definitely what i want to hyper focus in on now because this is letting me know where it's just like finding that balance and giving yourself a little bit more grace here i feel like you guys are being a little bit too critical again i think i it was yeah, it was you, Pisces. Anytime I do these readings and it gets to a point of channeled energy, sometimes I kind of forget uh, who, not that who I'm reading for, but it's like, it's all a haze. And so I believe it's you that I talked about data, right, Pisces? Yeah, it's you that I talked about data with. 
And so it's like, you guys are getting way too lost on the data of things, Pisces, when you need to just be focused in on just the long-term result, all right? Don't just see the initial 100 results of that data test, all right? Wait until you get 1,000. Wait until you get 10,000 um, things to compare it to rather than just that initial 100 or 10. Do you know what I mean? All right, so let's continue on with your moon oracles. You have here fix hold your vision fixed moon do not give up on it that's you know again another card talking about holding your vision and allowing things to man, uh, marinate more the energy is gaining momentum the, the 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 chicken is marinating okay how many times can I, can I say marinate full moon in Pisces balancing balancing spirituality and practicality again another call out for you Pisces about your balance all right but I feel like it's more so the imbalance and like how you're perceiving certain situations and like. You're using one, too much of one side of your brain and not the other. It's like you're using too much of your logical side and not the other portion as well, or vice versa. What do you get what I'm trying to say, Pisces? All right. So let's end it with your animal oracle cards. I want to do one bridge shuffle here before we do that pisces let me know how this reading was helpful to you darling all right and be sure don't forget to check out your sun moon rising as well as your venus sign pisces all right you have the gorilla card coming in here taking time to listen compassionately to those you love pisces especially your family members all right what is that about king of pentacles coming in here Ten of Pentacles coming in with the Hanged Man. All right, I will be saying here, Pisces, this kind of gives me the impression of maybe someone from your family. That might be what that energy is from that Three of Swords and that I told you to not deal with anymore. Now, I do ha kind of have to eat my words with this in this way, Pisces, but you know, no, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to eat my words with it. I will say I feel it feels like someone from your family or someone that you shared a table with, shared a meal with, with that Ten of Pentacles. That's who's going to be coming forward to you. All right. Now, you have that girl gorilla card coming in talking about listening compassionately to them but i always say when it comes to oracle cards you kind of have to dissect you can't take all oracle cards in their literal meaning and have it just be in that rigid view it's up for interpretation so i feel like this more so just brings the awareness or at least how i see this as aware she's like a f old family member trying to come back in and be like oh yeah like da, 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 da. does that make sense i also have no problems acknowledging maybe this is where it's like i was just projecting because i did say pisces i was like you know what? i'm just projecting here maybe for some of you guys you have to listen to them but I'm not going to entertain it personally. <laughs> Take what you will, darling. Take what you will. Camel, trust you have the resources resources to get you through the challenges before you here. All right. That's why you have you have the time to allow your chicken to marinate. All right. You thought I was done with using the marination reference, right? You have more time. You have more time to allow this chicken to marinate before you need to cook it, Pisces. So don't try to rush things and trust the creative spark that you're feeling and expressing it through writing stories or um, that inspire and enlighten. So this is what I'm talking about, Pisces. All right. This just shows to you that I'm not just like it said that what I said said previously in dissecting it just to save my own ego because this don't this don't do nothing for my ego right in this way you would dissect this and my how i personally would dissect this is that trust the creative spark that you're feeling from the spider card and trust that you have the resources to honor those creative feelings that you have and allow those creative feelings to fully develop to fully manifest to fully marinate pisces do you see what i'm saying here do you understand how i'm going from point a to point b to point c darling all right so that's the tarot reading that i have for you pisces hopefully this reading is helpful in some type of way and i'll connect with you at a later point in time bye pisces